disco veterinary medicine of KNUST was actually born out of a need to train veterinarians locally. Veterinary education had been on since 1920 with um, the training of technicians in Pontamali. And other people who want doctor of veterinary medicine has to travel outside the country, so these shores, to Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, Cuba, Russia, Ukraine, and uh, some to Cuba to get trained and to come back and practice in Ghana. These are through various scholarships and all that. But in 2009, the Veterinary Council of Ghana see the need to produce veterinarians in Ghana. No doubt, the veterinary, the number of veterinary doctors in Ghana was grossly inadequate. Where we need over 10,000, we have less than 150. And that tells us, that's going to tell more on the quality of meat, quality of veterinary services, even pet services that we have in the country. The Veterinary Council of Ghana approach to universities, University of Ghana, Legon, and also University of KNUST, Kwame Nkrumah, University of Science and Technology. But I must quickly say, they specifically ask KNUST that their aim of veterinary school is to produce one health specialist. Specialists who are not just veterinarians, but will help in pandemics control in future. And for that reason, KUST in their wisdom, through the Vice Chancellor, then Professor Otto Ellis, decided to place the School of Veterinary Medicine in the College of Health Sciences. This is unique. Why? Because KUSD having the School of Veterinary Medicine in the College of Health Sciences positioned KUSD, College of Health Sciences, as a college for One Health Drive and is the only one in Africa as of today. Makere is doing something like that, but not in the form of which KUSD has started. And the school, the three foundation members were Professor Rafael Deladem Fuliche, who happened to be the founding dean, and also Professor Tony Okoku Ajumani. And the third one is Dr. Joseph Atawana. Professor Fuliche is retired now, but is still a member of staff on contract. So also Professor Tony Opokwajumani, who retired not only as a professor of anatomy, but also as the vice dean of the school. These three people used their initiative to think of a better infrastructural facilities needed to propagate the one head focus. And for that, they visited South Africa and got a template of how the design of the veterinary teaching hospital and the faculty of veterinary medicine I should look like. I always say, if I happen to be the founding dean, I might not think in that direction. Because I will be thinking, let's start small and grow. But they have that massive thinking. And that was what gave back to the infrastructure that we have in terms of building, uh, which is first of its kind in the sub sub West African sub-region. It has a small animal clinic, which is massive 
In fact, it looks like an woman hospital. Then we also have um, the large animal hospital. We also have a shared facility. And at the back, we will be able to build a three-story building with research laboratory in place. And at the far back is where the student hostel will be. So this is a master plan. 